Should college student athletes get paid? At Ohio State, the football program brings in close to 70 million a year, but the players get none of that. Is that fair? Joe Ricknowski joins us with a former coach's opinion. Former coach and a former mayor as well, Laura. Now these student athletes should theoretically at least be students first, and they do get their education completely paid for, which now it adds up to thousands of dollars. You know that. They also get a small stipend to help with room, board, living expenses, etc. Ohio State football and basketball, to an extent, funds all the other athletic programs on campus. OSU ranks near the top in funding, bringing in, get this, more than 118 million dollars per year. It also adds prestige to the university, and there are actual studies that say the better the football team is, the more likely the university will succeed off the field, and the success is due to the players. But do the players deserve to get paid? Former Toledo Mayor and Assistant College Football Coach Cardi Finkbeiner weighs in. Football and basketball bring in such phenomenal revenues for their athletic departments and universities that those kids are expected to be the equivalent of Triple A American Association Mud Hen baseball players to the Detroit Tigers. So they put in the number of hours, if not more hours, if you're a football and basketball player in college, than the Mud Hen players do during their season where they are paid professionals. I think that there has to be a little bump up in what they're paying those kids. And Oh, uh, McCarty, that could open a big Pandora's box. It is a good debate, however. The Ohio State University is still waiting for the NCAA Infractions Committee ruling on whether the school will lose scholarships and get a possible bowl ban regarding tattoo gate and other improprieties. The decision is expected to come down within the next couple weeks. More with Cardi Finkbeiner talking sports this Sunday on the recap. It's Cardi unedited. You're not going to want to miss it. Joe Rakinski, Fox Toledo News.